Another beautiful day and another beautiful library. Hey guys, this is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. Today we shall be talking about audio analysis and I shall be talking about one of the fascinating libraries called as Pytub. Let's get started. Oh well, you have already seen the final output of this particular project we have finally created something out of PyTub. We have done some audio analysis and we have finally created our final music. Obviously not that great, but I would say not a bad start. So let's get started guys. Today's topic is going to be about PyTub, manipulating audio with an easy and simple high level interface. Using PyTub, you can definitely deal with your wave files. You can do a lot of stuffs. I have recently uh, written a blog on that as well. I will share you the blog details with you. So let us go through the blog. And in the meanwhile, I'll also show you the tutorial part, the coding part. It's going to be very simple. So let's see how to work with audio files using Python. Python provides a module called as PyDub to work with audio files. PyDub is a Python library to work with only WAV files. And slowly and steadily, we'll jump into the speech analytics areas as well. But yeah, today's topic is very limited to the simple audio processing, which is done using PyTub. So these are going to be some of the tasks which is able to be accomplished using PyTub. Loading and playing audio files, getting certain information of file length channels, increasing or decreasing volume and pitch, merging audio files, splitting audio files, exporting files, adding some techniques and generating some audio tunes as well. Okay, so let's quickly get started, guys. I will not be able to play this music as of now, but you can go through this blog, play the music in case that fascinates you. I will definitely leave the code to this particular project so that you can also download the code and try it by yourself. Okay, let's get started. So I'm using the PyDub library here. I have already written down the code so that we don't have a very lengthy video. And of course, I'll send it out to you so that you can practice. Now here I'm just running the code. I'm using URL lib.request.url retrieve to fetch the file. So this is the online music which I have fetched from freemusicloops.com.co.uk. I have downloaded it. So what it does is it downloads the, the downloads the wave file in this particular name, first file.wave. And then I'm loading the audio using the audio segment dot from wave. So my audio one has my final audio. Now, if I have to play this, so this is how it will be played on the screen. Okay, so let us move ahead and see some various techniques or what should be the various ways to check the data types, check the sampling rate, check the frame rate, and a lot of things about the audio file. Basically, the data pre-processing steps, or you can call it as the exploration of data, right? So in audio files, your major thing is going to be understanding the sampling rate, understanding the width, understanding the channels, understanding the length of it, understanding where is the noise and all those things. Okay, so the first thing is checking the data type to this file. The data type is nothing but it's an audio segment file. What is the frame rate? Frame rate is 44100. That means 44.1 kilohertz. If you don't know, our basic default settings in any kind of systems, be it your Mac, be it your Windows or be it your mobile, it is by default set to 44.1 kilohertz. You can definitely change it to 48 kilohertz, 96 kilohertz based on your requirements. To know about the channels, we have audio one dot channels method, which will tell us, okay, these we have two channels in this particular file. What is the sample width? What is the maximum amplitude which we get from this particular audio file? I'm not able to visualize the file immediately. I do have the code, but I didn't write. Probably when I share it to you, I will also add that piece of code. So it will basically give you an idea that what is the what is the amplitude? Because normally, as we already know, audio files are nothing but these are one dimensional files. Okay, so your x axis is nothing but time and your y axis is nothing but amplitude. 
right? So if I have to see the audio file, it should some look something like this, something like this. Okay, so basically what is my maximum amplitude? So this is my maps maximum amplitude, right? So what is the value? This value is 32,768. Okay, similarly, what is the length of the file? 7376. Okay, length means how many milliseconds it has. Okay, and after that, we can also set the different frame rate as we already discussed that the by default frame rate in this particular audio file was 44.1 kilohertz. Let's change the frame rate and let's try to play the music and see how it sounds like. Obviously, we'll not be able to find a lot of difference, but definitely there will be some difference. Okay, changing frame rates. So when, when it comes to audio analysis, when you are analyzing some audio data, and in case you might be already knowing about image segmentation, which is a part of augmentation, sorry, image augmentation, which is a part of augmenting images and creating new images so that you can increase your bandwidth or increase your data size, right? Similarly, when it comes to audio, there could be multiple ways where you can increase the data by changing frame rates, by accessing by by changing the volume by volume by increasing the volume decreasing the volume by changing the pitch and all those things okay so i have just changed the frame rate over here from 44.1 kilohertz to 22.5 kilohertz and this is how the music looks like i mean music sounds like Okay, so after this, I'm just using the export method. I'll I'll talk about exporting in the next uh, next couple of lines. But exporting is nothing but you can. So the play method basically plays you on the screen itself, which is not quite visible right now. But in case you want to store it, you can just use the export method. File name dot export output file equals to this, and the format is this. So definitely, it will save your file. You can see the wave the wave new file has been saved over here. Okay, so I have already run this particular code. So I also see a lot of wave files. Okay. So our next step is going to be increasing or decreasing the volume. Let's try to increase the volume and let's try to decrease the volume and see how the difference looks like. So I'm just playing the silent music first. So I can definitely understand that there has been a volume difference, right? The initial volume was a little bit higher and the new silent wave file is nothing but it's a little bit, the volume is a little bit down. I can further reduce it to 10, but it's okay for the timing as it is quite visible, uh, sorry, quite audible for us. Let's try to play the original file. Okay, now it's quite clear that the silent wave file and the audio one, there is a difference in the pitch, right? So let's try to play the new wave file, which is nothing but the original file plus 10 dB. Okay, obviously it will be a louder file. Let's see. Quite audible, quite audible that uh, there is a significant amount of difference between the silent file and the original file and the new file, right? And how to export them? I have also written the code. I'll not run this particular piece of code. I have already done that in my system. Our next step is going to be understanding merging files. How do we merge file? Let's say we have two different files, two different audio files. How to merge and see, I mean, to hear how it sounds like. I have never done any audio related video. That is the reason I'm telling again and again that let's see, let's see, let's see. But yeah, it should be let's hear, let's hear, let's hear. Okay, let's hear. Okay, so this, this music is completely like not very in sync with the first audio. It's completely different music. I have just randomly taken some music out of it. The initial music was having a ID of 266. Now it has 21. I have randomly taken this number. So you can also just change it and play around and see 
which one uh, do you like so in the next step i'm just combining the two audio files what i have done is audio 2 plus audio 1 plus audio 2 so let's say in audio 1 we are telling hey and audio 2 is hi so this is nothing but hi hey hi right very simple audio 2 plus audio 1 plus audio 2 and then i will play the audio 3 which has been the newly created audio let's try to hear this oh my god it's it's kind of i mean it it, it is actually fascinating for me to you know talk on this topic as well because this is the first time i'm using audio analysis well i i do have some other research uh, work as well into audio analysis but yeah this is the first video i'm making on audio so yeah the next step is dot export i'm exporting my audio 3 file and then officially i have written down how to export files which we have already learned the simple technique is audio file dot export out underscore f equals to the file name format equals to wave okay and this is how you can save the file in your local repository if you want to change the path you can simply change the path by something like this c users something like this okay just give it a try our next step is nothing but splitting audio there is a method called a split to mono which basically converts the stereo the stereo music to a mono music mono channel so let's see how to do it so I have just run it and I have stored it. I'm not playing it, but yeah, we can play it. Let's play it. Let's play P of zero. Well, concretely, I cannot spot any difference between this and the previous music but definitely when you start plotting the graphs on on a time scale or on a frequency domain you will definitely mark some changes okay our next step is nothing but looping the audios twice so as i told you there are multiple techniques you can also loop in your audios you can merge you can split a lot of things can be done i'm just talking about the basic things which can be done further you can take this process to the next level and then obviously you can come up with some really fascinating music right so let's do it looping the audio twice simple i'm just multiplying it with two so how to add it audio one plus audio one how to loop it i'm just doing multiplied by two you can also do audio one plus audio one not, not it also works okay but we'll use the multiplication method Okay, so little bit lengthier, but it's okay. So a next step, I'm just exporting the file so that I can store it and hear it later on. Our next step, I'm just uh, fetching the length of it. Let me write down what is the length of it. Print, well, print is not required. So the length is 14,751. Initially, the length was somewhere around 7,000. It has doubled, right? How to fade time for audio one? there are some options as well to fade times. So I have just used nothing but I have taken the length of it multiplied with 0 0.5 and then, then I'm adding fade in and fade out. So how fade in and fade out works, you might understand that within the audios, we also use some transitions, right? Fade in means your first audio is going to be fading, fading in and the next audio comes in, right? Something like that, fade in, fade out, easy concepts to understand. So I'm just using the fade in, fade out concepts and then I'm trying to play the music. Okay, the fading time has decreased. That is the reason I'm able to hear a very you know, low pitch music, which is kind of okay. I have, I have used the export method again to store the file. Our next step is mixing audios. So here you can see a bunch, uh, bunch of methods like overlay, what is overlay? Oh, I mean, yeah, very difficult to explain, but yeah, let me show you how to, how basically overlay works. Well, we'll have to see if, okay, we don't have any. Now overlay is nothing but, uh, 
how to explain overlay okay let's take help of overlay Yeah, overlay means yeah, two two audios are being overlaid upon each other, one upon another, right? So let's say one is telling hello and one is telling world. So once you play the music, it will tell hello world at this and at the same time. I I, I manually it's not possible for me to explain you, but yeah, you can imagine it's a typical English word, right? So overlay. I'm using overlay. So audio t audio two dot overlay audio one final, and then I am using some low pass filters where I'm changing the beat to three kilohertz. And then I'm just randomly using some methods like reverse. Uh, I'm using the audio dot reverse dot pan. Pan is nothing but it's basically the panned version of the uh, of the audio. Okay, so I have done some changes and let's play the music. Well, this is just my first attempt to do some kind of music out of the basic you know basic downloaded music so next step what i have done is i have created a method where i'm just taking the difference so sound one adjust is nothing but i'm just calling the set to target level here i'm passing my sound at my target level so audio and i'm telling so this is minus 12 means minus 12 db right i'm telling the the pitch should be minus 12 db right and i'm just applying some gain here sound dot apply gain and i'm returning the method and then I'm combining both of them using the overlay method. Let's do this and let's export it and then play the music. Well, I, I, I got, to, I mean, I, I hope you got, um, got some initial idea about how to do audio analysis obviously 10 minutes 15 minutes is very difficult for me to explain but definitely in case you are interested more into the audio analysis or the speech analysis you can definitely take help of this particular library and take your research to the next level there could be a lot of use cases in these areas as well in case you would love to discuss some use cases related to audio and speech analytics feel free to reach me out in case you like the video uh, please like it, share it and subscribe the channel and please press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos as well. So thank you. And in the next videos, I'll be coming up with some other libraries. Thank you guys. Bye bye.